Oh, misty eye of the mountain below Keep careful watch of my brother's souls And should the sky be filled with fire and smoke Keep watching over during sun I See Fire by Ed Sheeran, a British uh, singer-songwriter, very talented young man who wrote it for the soundtrack of The Hobbit Part 2, which came out in December last year. And of course, in the lesson, we take a close look at this signature riff. It appears like in the intro, the interludes, the outro, and it is probably the trickiest bit in the whole song. Other than that, it's actually very simple, chord progression-wise, and the chords as well. It's the key of E minor, we're uh, on the 6th uh, fret with capo, I mean, so everything is relative to that. Key of E minor, so that one's in there. G major, D major, C major, or C at 9 at one point. Then A minor 7, and a G with a B in the bass, and that is actually really it. So that's all very, very doable. A couple of things uh, happening for both hands, actually. This one, because throughout the whole song you hear this on beat 2 and beat 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So of course you strum with this hand, but this hand needs to make sure that the strings are dead, are muted. So like this. See? That's a technique to incorporate into your playing for this one. So that's one thing, the other. This hand, uh, you're playing pinches with your fingers, those or those on beat 1 and the end of beat 2 and that's also where the chord changes appear so so that's syncopated so you get this 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 this is the feel of the song see and in between on beat 2 and 4 you have this uh, muting it didn't mute effect okay then let me see strumming for the uh, for the choruses just a simple one speed of 16s no big deal there at all in lesson i will show you for both hands uh, uh, a close up anyway then other than that not too much going on by the end of the lesson you really should be able to play this one so let's get started at sheeran i see fire 